I specifically asked you not to PB, and I didn't. Generally implied by the any percent category. Generally, yes. No, yeah, always, always. It's glitchless. Any percent is glitchless, as I said. It has. If it says glitchless, then it doesn't have glitches. If it has, if it doesn't say glitchless, it has glitches. Almost always. Okay, this will be the last run. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. First two limestone always one copper, one titanium, and with that you can make yourself a scanner. What if it says glitchless? Then it's glitchless. You can leave stuff. If you see a run labeled as any percent, it's almost certainly skipping stuff because of glitches. Uh, glitchless any percent exists, Ostracon. Glitchless any percent is the, the alternate category to any percent. First two limestone always one copper, one titanium, and with that you can make yourself a scanner, you can leave one stuff building like so, and then I'm going to head over to a wreck to grab myself some sea glide friends. So on top of the water because it is slightly faster, I'm going to a wreck because the most likely place a sea glide can spawn. It can spawn anywhere in the safe shallows, just more likely at a wreck. I need two boxes to start a run. I think I've, I've got two. I do have two. Hey, Americu. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the final run of the stream. One dog, no tooth. Two dog, no tooth. Oh, maybe tooth. Is that a tooth hiding in the grass? It might be. Maybe. Thank you for luck, Jerbys. I'm gonna go through this crawl tube and grab myself a lot of resources. You will notice I am breaking rocks a little bit faster than normal. That's because you're buying the scroll wheel to one of the action keys, and each scroll counts as multiple inputs off that action. Pretty fantastic for running this game, because normally you have to click four times to break these rocks from the item inside. But I can just scroll once you do it, running at at least 30 FPS, and you want to scroll slowly. Not quickly, because scrolling quickly actually makes it worse. Also, trying to do some sort of helix like motion to grab these resources in a smooth fashion. Can be a little bit awkward though, depending on the resource distribution. And there certainly are a lot of resources. I'm going to skip that quartz, and we're just going to go this, this, this. No, it's too greedy for go for that. I think. And back to the base. You don't drown till minus eight, by the way. By specifically adding glitches to the category title. That's what I'm saying, Ostracon. I'm saying any run. So any percent, a hundred percent, seventy percent, twenty percent. Any run that doesn't explicitly say glitchless has glitches. So because any percent doesn't explicitly say glitchless, it has glitches. But glitchless any percent, which still has any percent in the title, doesn't have glitches because it says glitchless. Holding the sprinky here, to, by the way, to keep the menu open. Would highly recommend you do so even in your casual playthrough. That's holding the sprinky to keep the menu open. 11 and 2 is 15. I need 17 to 21 quartz, 2 silver to gold, 3 table coral. And as much lime as I can carry. Is that the category where you lose the run by being eaten by a Leviathan? Yes. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. I'll pick up two. I think more than two is greedy. 21. No more quartz for me, by the way. No backup, because gold and silver are fine. 
143% when you could argue that like a full 100% of Snortica and then a any percent run of below zero if when it's released could be like somewhere near that percentage. Sorry, I think that's words too long, Phoenix. I can't read it. Counts three. Three's pretty good. Three's decent. Dump, dump, eat, grab. And down. Gonna make myself a base with a hatch. And a solar panel. And I'm gonna fill my base full of water because I am a creature of the sea and I do want a similar time to do so. I'm gonna make two glass compartments, three metal compartments, and two windows. There are obviously some any percent runs that don't have glitches in. Uh, for example, Abzu any percent on current patch doesn't have any glitches because they patched out all the uh, out of bounds. It does have a sequence break, break, but that's a little bit different than a glitch. Gonna make myself two glass, two lockers, two windows, one metal. That's gonna help me take the hull strength down to less than zero. And if it's less than zero, it starts flooding because that's just how the game be. Well, that's fine. I'm going to go for a little stroll. I want four mushrooms, ten table crawl, and some other stuff. Four mushrooms. That's four. Ten table crawl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They did patch out all the outbounds. Yeah, all of them, potentially. And uh, there were a lot of them. There were a lot of them in Absu. There were so many outbounds, you could outbounds every single level. Every single level you could go out of bounds. Uh, and they patched it. for re It's pretty reasonable. Counting is four. Leg your mum in here. Everything else in here. Get out of my inventory. And I've just activated a glitch. If you're on a base, when it floods, the game thinks you're both swimming and walking at the same time. So it puts those two speeds together. Pretty fantastic. For in this game, you get to go very fast. And now I need some... It's called Super Sea Glide, by the way. And now I need some tea. Every time a dog picks up a piece of metal, there's a chance it drops a tooth. That chance is 25%. And I want four. By like 8.30. It's one... Is this one? It is. Two. Where's my other dog, though? Why'd they always disappear? This is a best doggo, though, so that's good. Start the count at one. Mobile vehicle, bay. 30 seconds. Oop, three. Oh, where is it? Four! Woo! Actual, factual, last run, best run. So if there's a rupture, I can deconstruct these windows. If there isn't a rupture, I can't, because if there isn't a rupture and I deconstruct the windows, at some point it stops being flooded. Also, the cough is really loud. And whenever you go through a power door, you're going to get air. Unless you go through a power door into a flooded base, thank for the outside. Well, there's not a flooded base, so it doesn't count. And the cough just happens randomly. I really don't know why. I really don't. Count starts at 1. Upgrade O2 tank. Light game items in here. Everything else in here. 10 minus 1 is 9. Count starts at 1. And count is 7. Thank you, Jen, for the luck. Just activated a glitch and Emidem. If you're in a base... And you're in the life pod store, you can open the locker, there's a little animation that opens your PDA. If you leave when the animation is playing, the game gets infused, doesn't open PDA. Next time you do open your PDA, no matter where you are, you can access that locker. And it's called ghost storage, or clove storage, or remote storage too. And now I can't look at chat, I need to count. Three. Four. 
down. Every second of this, guys, are going to take a tick of damage. Five. If I'm in the main blast, can take a lot more, so we're going to try and avoid that. Six. Seven. And now I'm going to count to 24 sandstone starting from one. If I ever find any. Eight. Anything on the walls? Nope. Okay. Nine. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Another little bonus super seed lad. You can rub yourself against stingers as much as you want. They're not going to hurt you. Seven. Eight. Or to crash fish and know you're around. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So they're going to stay in the little house. The other creatures do still lie around. Twelve. Mesmers and the like. They're just as annoying as ever. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, that's fine. Go up there. Dump all this in here. Dump all this in here. Close. Open again. Dump most of the lead because I don't need it. 15 is the count. 15 and 7, to be precise. So 15 and 8. 16. Still can't look at chat. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23. 24. So now gold. Gold. Done. So I'm at 8 metal. And some amount of mobile vehicle base. There's a mobile vehicle base. I think this is everything, because that's two mobile vehicle base. No, that's a sea glide. Oof. That's a mobile vehicle base. So now I need to get to 13 metal, ideally. So 9. Oop. 10. Eleven, twelve. Mm. Twelve. Okay, I mean, I can deal with that. Thank you, Purple Bubble, for the luck. Twelve's not great. Uh, it, well, I guess, I guess thirteen's not necessarily needed, but twelve, thirteen's better. It saves some time later. I need this. That's fine. This. Anger. While the anger's making, I'm going to deconstruct two and a half piece of my base. Can I speedrun on Epic Games? Yes, you can. You can speedrun on Epic Games. Why have you asked the question three times in a row, Donning? I even said I can't look at chat. Donning, please. Thank you, Sirius, for the luck. Dump four silver in there. That's five. Grab all these but ones. Make some more stuff. Make a chore wiring kit. Why not? Grab three of these. Grab this. Grab this. Grab all of those. Up I go. Thank you, Meph and Mark, for the luck. So it looks like I can make everything. That's actually just a glitch. If you leave something in the... Um, in a fabricator, every other fabricator looks like you can make everything. It's not telling the truth, though. Uh, you can't actually make everything, but it just looks like it. Grab this stuff, grab all that. Okay, and then I can make one more item as I leave. Cool. I think that power usage should be sh should be fine. Please click the right button. Thank you very much. So dump all of these in there and three of those and dump this, dump this, grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this. Swap batteries. Make myself this. I don't have the metal salvage. That's fine. Get ready to make... I don't have the those. That's fine. Sure. Make this. Leave. Deconstruct this. Uh, 
There we go. I don't need the med kit. Dump this. Activate ghost storage. In I go. Activate super sea glide. Leave. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Gonna head over to the mountain island now. Grab some resources I can't get in my base. Grab some fragments I can't get in my base. And do the storyline of Subnautica. Yes, you heard me correctly. There is a storyline to Subnautica. And I'm gonna go and do it now. I think I need a, a, a titanium. I think I need one. Maybe. Thank you for luck, Echo and Table and CPW and Bry. Thank you very much. So while I'm uh, I'm using some underwater landmarks to find my way, if you're new to this, look at the aurora, look left, find yourself a cloud, head towards that, you'll get to the mountain. Unless you're on Xbox, there's no cloud. Oof, oof. Thank you, Joshi, Monster Cookie, Sunset, and Clovers for the luck. And now I'm looking for shale and fragments. As soon as I start picking up shale, I'm going to grab... Uh, can I count lithium gold in that order? Hey, HMW. Grab a lot of air. And down. Anything there? No. Anything there? No. Anything there? No. Going to overlay some animations. Means I can take out the sea glide about two seconds early. Very exciting, I know. It's called fish skip. So one zero is the current count. Two zero. Two zero. Two one. Magnetite U. Three one. Four one. Five one. Six one. Seven one. Eight one. Nine one. Nine two. Ten two. Ten three. Hmm. That's pretty good. Air might be a bit awkward though. Please, sniper, no snipey. Hey, it's crazy. Dump all these in there. Dump, dump. Grab this. Close open again. Dump, 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 dump. I'm out. Ten three. Ten, ten three. 10 3 is nuts. I need three engines and two moon pools. I should have enough air for this. As long as I find them all in decent time. So that's all the engines. Now just two moon pool. Moon pool death, Pogchamp? One moon pool. There's the second moon pool. Eleven. Come on. Twelve. Thirteen. Up there. So Mabel, big spooky reaper. She's right like over there. Uh, I'm going to swim over so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Grab a lot of air. I'm in a very different place than I normally am, which is a little bit weird, but it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm a little bit too far to the right. So I could have actually, I think I could, was more likely to get got by Re Mabel there, but it's fine. Wasting a lot of time, but... Do a very specific spot, down, deploy, climb out of bounds. Grab that because I still need it, leave. Okay. So I've got everything. I've got 14 lithium. I've got 3 gold. That's pretty good. Thank you, Kalifa, for the luck. Can you share games on Steam? Uh, just check the speedrunning Discord. Just ask questions in there. Or check my world record run. It's got a tutorial in it. In the description. Ooh. Taking some damage here. Ooh, a sulfur. <laughs> So I'm going to say out of Casper, the friendliest ghost of Arthur, and if Casper says hi back, Casper blesses the run. Plus 17Y. I spent a little bit longer looking for stuff, I believe. And now I need some nickel. Nickel's a tiny little thing, life play hide and seek, and I need three of it. You play this game for long enough, everything in this area starts looking like nickel. The floor, the fish, the bubbles the fish give off, the shale, the lava. It's all nickel. And of course, nickel's a tiny little potato, so it's kind of hard to spot, even at the best of times. One... 
That was a bubble. Three. That's the pretty bad three. Kevin's a big loud boy who likes eating glitchless runners, but we're not playing glitchless, so it's fine. Four sulfur for Kyanite. So that's one one. Two one. Two two. Two three. In I go. Grab some air. The game doesn't lag for some reason. It used to always lag there. Why doesn't it lag there anymore? Gonna make this portable spawn point. Up I go. I want to take a bit more damage here. Cool. And I can do a jo two big jump. I missed the lag. Hey, a stay line. I'm here to do two things. I'm here to grab the cube in here and grab the, the blueprint behind the door, and that's all I'm here to do. Bye, Sea Glide. No spider. I've got so much health. Spiders don't matter. And death. Respawn outside. Hey, banana. Activate Super Sea Glide. Where on earth is my spawn? My spawn's a clip B. My spawn's a clip B. I'm pretty sure. No, it's a clip A. It's a clip A. Dump this. Uh, 3 2. It's a clip A. There's one in here. There we go. Cool. I need two sulfur. That's fine, though. So we're going to again deploy this in just the right way so I can climb out of bounds. And I'm going to leave that there because while Mobile Vicar is in this game, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Thank you very much, Planet, Cinnamon Cookies, Joshi, Skyrim for the luck. I now need to get Sulphur from out of bounds, which is a little bit tricky. You need to be very careful because going in bounds is bad. It kills the run, as you would expect. There's one. Where on earth is that? Okay, that was weird. I don't know the angles of the terrain. How does terrain work? Okay, that'll do. I am what you see. Want to help you. Get out of my face, big mama. So I need that crown and the cube. And big mama's currently very confused. She's waiting for someone to come in the correct way. No one's ever going to do that, so she's just going to power pose till the end of time. Also, with Super Sea Glide, I can slightly clip through everything. So because I can do that, I can slightly clip through the sand, activate the pedestal, and leave. My need Welcome to back, Death. To play outside this place. We have been here so Easy bingo. Long. Easy bingo. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom. But this, 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 this. If you help us, well, I will give you to. freely what the others tried in vain to take. Cool, make that. I had to wait for the cutscene to end to make it. Gonna deconstruct it for the gold. I'm gonna deconstruct this. Oh, no, Environment fuck. scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form, which depends on the organic. Have we saved more time here? How bad was this section in my PB? How bad was this section? Thank you, Dexter and Jorah. So I'm gonna activate that, hatch the babies, and there is an animation you can watch. However, the babies are just outside straight away, so you can go say hi. Very bad, very bad. Lots of OOB sulfur. Oh, I did have to get three OOB sulfur, didn't I? So yeah, save a bit of time here. It's not bad. And also lag. Yes, I think we did have lag. One second lag. Pog. Pog. Teleporting babies. Teleporting babies. No more threats from warpers. Yeah, very good. Hey, Lulu, thank you for the luck. Do you scroll or kick the baby vomit? Every time I can scroll, I scroll. Take these off. So another thing about... Well, some stuff about dying. If you die, the game... 
and the game can't find the last base you're in, it's going to put you back the life pod. The life pod's currently over 1,200 meters away. That's quite a good teleport. Also, a lot of the walls in this area are just advice. So you can hop straight through. You can't do that on current patch. You have to walk in like a normal person and die. But we think if you do it properly, it's it doesn't waste any time. Thank you, Ego, for the luck. Also, if you die, the game lets you keep all the items you had on you when I last in a base, as well as one additional random item that you get after, and any storyline items as well. Storyline items in this game that we care about are tablets and cubes. I always, like, lose a second on this split. It doesn't really matter. It's mostly just moving my mouse to the one to press the button. So we're here to drown, essentially. Lies, you click mushrooms. No, I, I scroll the mushrooms. Thank you, Messi and SDW for the luck. Gonna grab this tablet, gonna grab this cube. I don't need this cube, but it's it's somewhat useful. Dump that, put this on, hover over this. Yep, okay. So I'll still have the inventory open when I respawn. So I can put that on and then close the menu. Grab all these and this. So I'm gonna actually... Uh, uh, <laughs> Dump all this in here. Grab this. So I need nothing. I need for nothing. I do want to scan this though. So I'm going to head over to the sparse reef and grab some more resources. I can't get near my base. Using some more underwater landmarks to find my way. But if you're new to this, check out. There's a video that Tex did on the speedrunning discord. Or you just learn the map lol. Thank you, Eilish, for the luck. So I'm going to head over, line myself up with this wreck. Here be us. Grab a salt. Mm, salt. And then up I go for air. The best, the best, the best. Currently, yeah. See if we can get this run done, though. I don't know. Evening. Grab a lot of air here, go straight past this guy, the Guardian of the Cave, and then straight down. Thank you, 11 billion for the luck. And thank you, Texnor, for the £5 tip. Thank you very much. So I need two rubies, two gel sacks, that's all I need. That's all I need from here. Ruby. Second ruby. Gel sack. Having to go down here for the gel sack makes me sad, but it's okay, I guess. And over I go. Fish? Fish. New creature discovered. Hey, Agmaster. And thank you, Leggy, for the luck. Okay, I always worry I don't have the tablet, because that one time... The one time... One, two, three... I'm going to go left, then right, then left again. I need four total, and I already picked up one. Thank you, Phoenix, for the luck. Oh, no. No, you don't. You don't. Don't use that battery. So I'm going to do a little magic trick. Make this and pop. The wreck is gone. Thank you, friends. Call for the luck. Another mat. I need three bridge, three hull. Let's see. Two hull. One bridge, two hull. Do fish skip so I can scan while this animation is taking place. Saves again, about two seconds. That's two, three hull, three bridge. No, I need one more hull. There we go. That's everything. Head on over. One, two, three. Make this. Make hatch. Power. Deconstruct this. Oxygen Kill self. <laughs> hey, Ants. Welcome, welcome. Okay, why don't you leave the magic trick base there? I don't have the metal to leave it there, otherwise, I would. Hey, go, go. Yeah, if I had the metal, I definitely would.
Okay. So I'm going to head over to the Aurora. And we're going to get what is essentially the final blueprint of the game. I say the final blueprint of the game because it's the blueprint that lets you actually finish the game. To do so, I'm going to go through a maintenance hatch, which is definitely intended. Don't worry about it. I was hoping I could catch the sun here. I was hoping I could catch the sun before it goes dark. This maintenance hatch does exist on current patch. It just disappears when the aurora explodes. So if your aurora's exploded and you can't find it, that's why. I'm going to take this a little bit carefully because I always get a bit worried on this. Ziza just does it like zooms through, but I am, I'm a little bit careful. So I'm going to head on through, going to check the stuff above me, that's what's leading me. You see this sort of blue stuff in, on, above me, that's what's leading me to my destination. Oop, line myself up here, and just jump straight through the floor. You can't jump through the floor on current patch. You have to do a different tactic. Check the speedrun in Discord for it. Open the door, grab the final blueprint of the game. These boxes though, oof, and then die in this fire. Smash the key. Hey, Sugar, thank you for the luck. Okay, so now I do to do some very inventory, interesting crafting. Uh, this, 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 um, and uh, these. Okay. So I'm gonna go a little bit away, and we'll start. So gonna gonna basically do some weird, really, really weird crafting to overlay some bases. It's really, really odd. Uh, don't worry about it. I uh, just floating window. Finish the floating window. Now there's no floating window. When I make this moon pool, there's now. Ooh. When now I make this moon pool, there's two moon pool. Is this, see this moon pool? There's two moon pool. I don't. It's weird. So I deconstruct this one. That's the outer layer moon pool. Wait, is it? Oh no. I didn't make it close enough. That's oof. Waste some time there, unfortunately. So hopefully this one is, is will work. There we go. This is two moon pool. Deconstruct the outer moon pool. Deconstruct. Make it. Now there's two moon pool again. Find where I can deconstruct the moon pool. Where can I deconstruct? There. Okay. Deconstruct. Reconstruct. Deconstruct the moon pool again. That's the last one. Caution. Continued degradation of the auroras. I believe. May result in a quantum yeah. detonation. Continuing to monitor. Wait for the lag. There's the lag. Grab all this stuff. Yeah, I've got eight there. And one here, right? Yeah. And I got 14. Yeah, that's how you maths. That's how you maths. Uh, I need this as well. No, not that. Uh, where's, where's, do I, I didn't pick up the gold or something? Where's, oh, I, of course, of course. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Don't throw. Did someone say throw? That's my favorite thing to do. And down. So I've heard tale of a wild mobile vehicle bay that is that is uh, in this glorious location. We're going to sneak up on it and see if we can capture it alive. What a beautiful creature. Then I'm going to head over to a very specific location. Go up to here and deploy. Thank you, pending for the luck. So, of course, that isn't a wild mobile vehicle bay. That's a uh, the most same mobile vehicle bay I left down in the lava zone. Subnautica, like a lot of other open world games, only renders stuff that's close to you and not stuff that's far away. There are a couple exceptions to this. However, the mobile vehicle bay is one, and water is another. So when I leave the area, the mobile vehicle bay exists, the water exists. But none of the land around it does. So it just floats all the way up to the surface. Thank you, Hez, SDW, Brokai, Califer for the luck. Dolphin Dive. 
table, sunset, Jakku. High Jinx, thank you for the luck. Stenka, hello. Thank you, Beige, for the luck. And Surian. Glorious dive. Glorious dolphin dive. So now I'm going to stand here. This is the best place to stand to click it. And then immediately go to my Cyclops. Because I need... I made the Cyclops for one reason. And we're going to go and use it for that. Eilish. Rahel. Thank you for the luck. Dexter as well. So I'm going to use text clip here to climb the ladder from the outside. Saves like an animation. Which is pretty decent. And I'm here to make one thing and one thing only and that's the shield generator. Let me down. Let me down. Thank you, bread. Clover's Vish. Razor. Bread again for the luck. This. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, I need to press... To, to PB, I need to press this button at minus 104 or better. So, pretty sure this is a PB. Rip past Salvna. Rip past Salvna. Thank you, NS, for the luck. As long as I don't mess up the, the elevator and stuff, which I still could do. Uh, I am bad, it is true. So, jumping's just worse. It's, uh, it's the same speed. Thanks, you, America, you, for the luck. But, um... I guess I should jump over that corner, technically. Thank you very much for the bits table. Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna be just just gonna be careful on this jump here, just a sec. Okay. Hey, that's Roth. No, I don't ever get tired of repeating myself. Thank you for the luck, Biots. So we're gonna go around the right way. Thank you, Blau. No, I don't ever get tired of repeating myself. Because in the right, if you go around the right way, it's less likely that the Cyclops kills you by moving the rocket into you and you dying immediately. Thank you, Biots. Bonnell, British cheese for the luck. Up the ladder. 18 seconds from the top of the ladder. Thank you, Raptors, for the luck. Jagmaster, no, I don't ever get tired of repeating myself. Look, they told me to stop pretending to be a flamingo. I just had to put my foot down. Sorcata, no, I don't ever get tired of repeating myself. Thank you, Messi. Sauron, Swippen, for the luck. Topo, for the luck. Almost finished. Let me just finish first, okay? Let me just, let me just finish the run. Life stop. Systems Please. What? Good stuff. And thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in the shout outs, that's basically the rest of the video. Okay, thank you very much, Jerobees, for gifting a sub. I've got my little list here so I can just go through it. Uh, thank you for luck, Topo. No, I don't ever get tired of repeating myself, Ristol. No, I don't ever get tired of repeating myself, Leggy. No, I don't get tired of repeating myself, Banana. They told me to stop pretending to be a flamingo table. I just had to put my foot down. Thank you for luck, Leno. Beots. They didn't- I don't get tired of repeating myself, no. SCW, no, I don't get tired of repeating myself. Sunset, I don't get tired of repeating myself. Clovers, I do not get tired of repeating myself. Thank you, Chan, for the luck. Vish, they told me to stop pretending to be flamingo, I just had to put my foot down. Planet, no, I don't get tired of repeating myself. Les, I don't get tired of repeating myself. Thanks for the luck. Mini, twice. Uh, thank you for the luck. Blavid, thank you, Iseko, thank you, Cyrix, thank you for the bits, hijinks. Thank you, Brakai, for the sub for the three months. Enjoy your blue circle. Thank you, Vish, for gifting 20 subs. Vish, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm so far behind you guys. I'll get there eventually. Thank you, Judge Jams and Americ for the luck. Americinski, that's different, Americ. Thank you, Chaos Des for the bits. Thank you, Lurk for the bits. Thank you, Bristol for the bits. Thank you, Rahel for the Twitch Prime. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you, Ego for the bits. Thank you, Califer. To, uh, they, they told me to stop pretending to be a flamingo. I just had to put my foot down. Thank you very much, Razor, for gifting 10 subs. I'm still not caught up with you. Thank you, Bristol, for the bits. Uh, Americ, they told me to stop pretending to be a flamingo. I just had to put my foot down. Thank you, DYT, for the bits. Thank you, Topo, for the gift subs. For the five gift subs. Lurk, they told me to stop pretending to be a flamingo. I just had to put my foot down. Lurk, they told me to stop pretending to be a flamingo. I just had what to put my foot down. Thank you for the five gift subs, Ijinx. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the bits veil. Thank you, Leggy, for the ten gift subs. Thank you, Topo, for the luck. Thank you, Slalantin. They told me to stop pretending to be a flamingo. I just had to put my foot down. Could you? I'm going to catch up eventually, I swear. Thank you, Entry, for the five subs. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Vish, for another 20, Vish. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aqua, for subscribing. Glorious two months. Thank you, Bristol, for the bits. Thank you for the luck, Syrian. Thank you for the luck, Blau. Thank you for the luck, Vint. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, Pixie, and Joy, your emotes. Thank you, Gogo, for the bits. Crypto, they told me to stop pretending with a flamingo. I just had to put my foot down. And thank you, Bristol, for the 25 bits. Thank you very much, everybody. That was incredible. Thank you very much for people giving Vish, giving gift subs. Thank you very much, Vish and Leggy. And hi, oh, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. And hi, Jinx, Leggy, Vish, Entry. Thank you, people, for the bits and the subs. Thank you very much. Incredible. You guys are incredible. And thank you very much for watching this PB. This is awesome. 37, th look at that. That's so much better. Sub 37 when? Sub sub 37 when? When? <laughs> sub 37 is close. It's close. Also, donning. Chill, 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 fam. Chill. Hey, Auntie Peter. Hey, Suricada. You're plus 17 on Mountain. Yeah, Mountain's got some easy time save. Everything else is pretty good, though. Everything else is pretty good, though. Donning, please. Donning. Donning, please. Suck on 38 and 9 and suddenly have this. I know, right? I know, right? We just needed one good run to just push it through. Hey, Musa. Will be granted once you have settled. Hey, Waluigi. Rauno. Goal is 1745. Goal is sub 37. Sub 37 would be fantastic.